What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back to the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today, the mod tutorial will be on the Butterflies mod, and what this mod does is it adds butterflies to Minecraft. Now, you can tame them by catching them with a golden jar. You can also just regularly catch them in a normal jar and then re um, release them somewhere else if you wish, like in your house or something if you want butterflies in your house. So, this mod is very simple. Um, one of the main things it would be for is just to um, add a new look to Minecraft. So you can see there's a butterfly right there and that is a regular butterfly. And this adds 15 different butterflies. So we have the creep butterfly, the dark forest, white blood, snow, cactus, pumpkin, sugar, nether, notch, ice, ice blue, mystic, gold, and the light. So these are all in normal jars and I'm gonna go ahead and release them so you just go ahead and when you're holding it just right click them and they'll all start flying away so we have a bunch of them flying around let me go ahead and get the other ones out okay almost done letting them out okay so now we can get our golden empty jar and our butterfly net so let's try to capture one if we can um, I have fly mode on let me get rid of this that should be good now no, we're not. Okay, I guess I'm not going to be able to stop flying. So let's go ahead and chase these guys. They're not very easy to catch. There we go. I caught one. What did I catch? I caught a, caught, a, caught, caught a golden butterfly. So now if I release it like this, um, it should land on my head. I think. Did it? I don't know, but it will follow me around, I assume. Yeah. So after you tame it, it will follow you around. So you can see it's following me. So that's it for the butterfly mod. Like I said, it's a very simple mod. Um, just basically used for aesthetics mostly, just to give Minecraft a different look. So that is it for the preview. I now need to clean out my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I'll show you how to install this mod. Okay, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip, whatever you want to use. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then you're going to need to download ModLoader and the Butterflies mod itself. So to get the Butterfly mod and the ModLoader, I'll go ahead and give you the page, the link to these two pages in the description. So first for the Butterfly mod, if we scroll down, um, here's a video previewing the mod. And then here's a up close look of every single one of the different species of the butterflies and where they spawn. And here's how to craft the net and the jars. And um, this is like when they just land on your head when you tame them. I don't know why it didn't uh, land on my head, but uh, here's a trophy. And then to download this, we're going to go ahead and scroll down to where it says download and then click on the Dropbox link, the butterflies.zip and that will automatically download it. Then when you are ready to download ModLoader, go ahead and come over to Resigami's Mods and scroll down until you see ModLoader 1.0.0 and you can either do download AdFly or direct, whatever you prefer to do. If you do direct, it will download it straight from this page. So that is how to download ModLoader and the Butterflies mod. Now to install it, go ahead and come over to Start, type in percent app data percent, and then we will go into our roaming then into your dot minecraft then into the bin and left click your minecraft jar then right click it and do open with winrar or whatever archiving program you're using now your bin we don't need this open anymore so we can go ahead and close that now go ahead and open up mod loader and highlight all these class files and drag them into your minecraft jar and hit ok go ahead and close mod loader now open up the butterflies mod open up minecraft jar and then highlight all these files and drag them on in and then hit ok so we can close butterflies mod now 
Now in your Minecraft jar there should be a folder called metainf. If there's not then you don't need to worry about this step. But if you see metainf go ahead and left click on it then right click it and do delete files and hit yes. If you don't delete metainf when you install a mod it will stop Minecraft from working. So that's it we can go ahead and close your Minecraft jar and you're done installing the mod. So pretty easy to install this so I hope this, I hope this video helped you guys out and I'll see you guys next time.